My crack of dawn flight got me into Milan Malpensa early in the morning, and by the time I got to my hotel, my room wasn't ready yet. So I dropped my bags, and after recaffeinating myself with a second breakfast of cappuccino and brioche, set out on foot to walk into the center of town. The objective is to unkink myself from after the flight, get used to Italian light, and hang on in there while my appetite increases by the minute until it's a respectable time to go have lunch. Around the Colonne di San Lorenzo, it's all very quiet during the day, a far cry from the night when this area is thronged with crowds. Just up the street, this butcher had a great looking selection of beef, homemade sausages, and a prosciutto in its window. All of this made me think more about lunch, so I stepped up my pace. Eventually, I'd wandered over into the Brera, one of my favorite areas, and walking past the mouth-watering display of the delicatessen at the corner of Via Solferino and Via Ancona, I gradually headed up to Via Palermo. Here's where I stop for lunch if I'm in this district. Right across the street from the building with the wrought iron balconies and the roof gardens, one of the thousands you see everywhere in Milan, it's in the shade in this shot. A good thing on the day, too, because it was about 32 degrees. Grand Italia is the name of the place. About 10 years ago, they renovated and painted the walls in bright, cheery orange stripes with sky blue and cloud colored ceilings. The overhead fans and the grandly decorative glass bowls for hard candy in one of the arches between the two front rooms stayed. And, of course, the whiteboard menus showing the many daily specials stayed too. My choice today was a primo of risotto with stracchino and rucola. Grand Italia does fabulous risottos and always has one or two every day, plus risotto al salto the classic Milanese way of using leftover risotto. It's fried on both sides until crisp. As a secondo, I took something I love in late summer. Zucchini flowers filled with ricotta and lightly deep fried in olive oil. Here, served with a nice fresh salad of tomatoes, radicchio and rucola. It's surprisingly filling, so all I need afterwards is a good ristretto. This should keep me going until dinner.